Hello artists, here is Mr. Lawrence. One of the things I want to do in these videos is to show you the work artists do. We learn so much when we look at their work. That's why I often say that it's not just about making art or learning how to make it. It's about enjoying the work other artists do, celebrating their work. And you can see art in so many places like the internet, or uh, you can go to an art museum or an art gallery. Art galleries are places that organize exhibitions where they show work that artists do. But there is art in so many other places, like the streets, the parks, some walls from some buildings. One of my favorite places to discover new art is the subway. In New York City, where I live, we often take the train to go from one place to another place. The train goes underground. That's why it's called the subway. And in many subway stations where you are waiting for your train, there is amazing, wonderful, spectacular art. Isn't that unbelievable? That you are going to school or to work or to visit a friend and you get to see beautiful art? I think that's amazing. And it's free. Well, you have to pay the train fare, but you are paying it anyway if you want to take the train. Artist Ming Fei was born in Shanghai, China, grew up in Hong Kong, and lives in New York City. He made for the Delancey Street subway station two big works. One is a group of trees named Delancey Orchard. Orchard means exactly that, a group of trees. Maybe he thought about this because at one point this was not a city, but farms with lots of trees. The other work, a group of pieces at different parts of the station, is called Shad Crossing. Shad is a kind of fish that lives in the Hudson River, the main river in New York City. Shad was saved from extinction. It was disappearing. Like many artworks in the subway, these pieces are made with a technique called mosse which is a little like collage, but instead of using paper, small pieces of glass are arranged to create the image. And the pieces are not layered or overlapped. They are juxtaposed, meaning next to each other, not over each other. Actually, we can make collages using this method too, to make them look like mosaic. I've done it. Maybe we can try one time. Vince, a friend of mine who knows a lot about fish, loves this work because he says shad look exactly like this. Min Fei has captured the way the fish looks. So, as the trains go back and forth and people walk fast to catch them, the artwork is here for everyone to enjoy. For me, it is kind of poetry, really. I don't know how to explain it, but in the busy life in New York City, looking at the art in the stations brings me peace. It calms me down.
wherever you are, pay attention. Maybe you discover art in unexpected places like the sidewalk, the parks, the train. And if you live in a small little town or in a house in the countryside, maybe it's time for you to make some art for your community. Actually, we should all think about that. Draw some ideas to see how we can improve our neighborhood. Bring some art to it. And remember, I am an artist. Yeah. <laughs>